All right, I'm gonna make a spear today, and I'm gonna use a jig, uh, Cabe from uh, Woodland Inspirations. He sent me a jig and wanted me to demo it, so I will show you how it works. Pretty slick, I made a, uh, this one's a four and a half inches spear, so I'll show you how to set it up and, and what comes with it and everything. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. So here's everything that comes with it. It has your, your cutter bar here with the pivot arm on it. And comes with a two-inch threaded uh, Morse taper for the headstock. You put your put your cup on it, and then you do need a. You see that? You do need a uh, live center that you can take the uh, the point out so that the cone on the on this end slides in. And then this is your uh, your uh, support for the tailstock, and it has its groove for a couple different lays. Um, with the smaller lay, the only thing I I am having a problem with is the bar down here. If you want to do small, uh, smaller bars or smaller balls, you need to modify this to get it to slide over and get it in center. I tried to do a, a small one and it I can't get it centered without cutting that off. Um, I don't, maybe I'm doing something wrong. Let me let me know. But it it. Uh, you, you got to be on either side of it and, it and it doesn't work the actual bar when you put it in it slides right over the motor so it works works great for that it, it's all set up to, to go over that motor but for doing uh, I think I cut it at uh, uh, three and three quarter and that size won't work so I cut another another block that, that's bigger so I can get it centered out here so but that's that's basically it the, the parts there so let me show you how you set it up. Okay, and then on the, the pivot arm here, it actually has two positions here that you can uh, adjust it a little bit. So I'm gonna go, this ball's bigger than the one I just tried to make, so I'm gonna put it out on the, the far one there. And put this back in here. it out to where it all mounts in there. All right, so you need to center the center plate up here and you need to center the cutter head in between these two. And how I did it was you bring it all the way over to this side, see where it's, it's hitting right there, and bring it all the way over here and it's hitting in, in right at the, the same, same spot or real close. All right, then you just turn the lathe on and turn it around, crank the wheel in a little bit.
spots off now <clears throat> what you do is is pull it out and take and cut the ends off it's it's you're gonna remount it in in there like this but it's easier to uh, to just take it over on the bandsaw and, and cut the majority of these chunks out but don't don't come in here too far or you're gonna end up with a it won't be you have to bring it down quite a bit more to make it true again so make sure that you know your radius there is it's actually out in you know about right there so let me do that real quick and don't try and do that freehand i'm going to put it in a clamp and uh, run it through the band so i don't try and hold on to something like that all right just cut off the majority of it i'm going to remount it in there like this i don't know how hard that would be to get it back center so i think it would just be easier just to just to take them off with uh like this put it back in there you can see it's it's centered on the side or it's true on the side so i'm just going to take the majority off and then clean it up a little bit with a scraper Not sure if you can see that on on the camera, but there's there's a you know the ghosting shadow. Can you, can you see that right right there? So you you can see exactly where true is. Then you can can uh, to sand it up or whatever. You just just keep going around and turning it, and running true in in uh, you know in any position here now. So that's basically it. Um, it goes I, I don't know pretty fast. It um, took me I don't know I think I ran it pretty much in real time. It's it was maybe 15 20 minutes to get it get a perfect ball perfect spear so just need to sand it up now and it'll be done to uh, finish it off and sand it and like I said you can actually use the jig you just need to get it to uh, cut the two ends off but you need to get it get it dead on or it's gonna start you know cutting into here or this side or whatever but other than that I think it works pretty slick it's it's pretty easy to set up there's there's not much to it it uh, but I think it just does true uh, true sphere so it's um, if you wanted to do an oblong one or something I'm not sure not sure how you would do that on it or adjust it to, to get that uh, get that effect but let me go ahead and sand this baby up okay I'm just gonna finish up with 600 here 
and I'll just kind of show you rotating it in there. stock a little bit turn it make sure it's in the pocket There we go, and it, uh, it's a piece of maple burl, and it came out to be uh, four and a half inches. So basically, about what I what I cut it, I did, had to bring it down just a little bit, I guess, to, with sanding or whatever. But I think it, it works well. A um, couple little things uh, to keep in mind is is that support there. If you have have this lathe, and the other thing I would do is. Um, when you're sanding, I would put uh, some little pads on here. Maybe just that the non-stick stuff so that these don't mar it up. Um, when I was sanding one time, it, the tailstock wasn't tightened up quite enough and it, it uh, because it, they don't sit, they just sit right on the on the edge there. It slipped a little bit and put a, put a little ring around it and then I had to sand that back out. So I would uh, maybe come up with a little pad or even, even just uh, some of that non-stick stuff. But other than that, it uh, works great. Um, I think it's, you know, probably 20 minutes or so. I, what I would do is if you, uh, if you're gonna do a bunch of these, I would set the jig up, get it centered, have all your blocks the same size, turn them all with the, with the jig, and then disassemble everything and cut the ends off and then bring it back over and, and uh, then put it in between so, so you weren't going back and forth. All right, there we go. Um, I'll put some pictures up at the end, but that one's five and a half inch. And this one is uh, one that he sent me. It was in the box when, uh, with, the, with the jig. But um, I, I think it works great. Just a couple little things that I mentioned that, that uh, about you know, issues with, with maybe my particular lathe. But other than that, I think it works great. And it's uh, uh, woodlandinspirations.com. And I will put uh, uh, the website down below too, so you can go check it out. And he has a bunch of pictures of uh, spheres that he makes and a bunch of laminated stuff, and they look really cool. So uh, go check that out. But thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.